Greetings from Cybertron. This is Soundjack here with a review of the Transformers BotBots Series 3 Music Mob. Yes, I said Series 3. Yes, uh, I'm sorry for the massive delay between this BotBots video and the previous one. I'm going to be getting back into it and doing the Series 4 and the already out Series 5 at this point. Um, but I want to catch up with the Series 3 just because there's only a handful of teams I missed. Then I'll get on to the Series 4. And then once I actually start getting Series 5, I'll start doing the Series 5 videos. But that's not what we're here today for. We're here for the Music Mob. Uh, five new team members to the Music Mob. Um, most, uh, well, actually, I'm pretty, sure, pretty certain all of them are not original molds. Uh, but only one of them is an original is an unoriginal mold that doesn't come from no wait no never mind I'm talking out of my butt uh, because two of them were not originally music mob though one of them probably I would have assumed would have been uh, <laughs> we'll get into their origins in a moment but before we get into all that let's do a couple of size comparisons here they are with a couple of current battle masters and micro masters. A tiny turbo changer, a current deluxe class and Voyager class figure. Yes, I realize this is the Earthrise Prime. It's the same size as the other one. This is fine. And a not so current Legend scale figure. So, as always, going from left to right, we are going to start off with Axwell, who is a blues guitar and <laughs> is a blue guitar. Ha ha! Uh, and is based off the Rock Swagger mold, which again I was I was wrong again because I realize now that uh, Rock Swagger was actually a lost spot in series two, not a Music Mob member. Oh, woe is me for being wrong. Anywho, uh, Rock Swagger, like I said, blue guitar, lighter blue than not no Rock Swagger is a darker blue than the lighter blue of Axwell. And he's got this nice little. Um, I want to say a light brownish kind of stripe because I get yeah that matches the hair and then the uh, the white uh, fret board uh, with the strings on there and you can see he's still got the little sound wavy head at the end of the strings right there a couple of little knobs uh, legs that are not hiding super well and then here is his face he's a little he's a little sad you can tell right you can tell he's sad. Uh, but speaking of, of but <laughs> not speaking of sad, but uh, transformation wise, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take this and flip this up. I'm going to come around, swing the legs down from back here, and we're going to come down and fold the arms like so, like so. And there you have. Axwell in robot mode and oh wait nope you know what I forgot you rotate the head around you rotate the head around as well it's been a bit <laughs> I guess uh, apologies for that but yes so legs hands head all change and then flip that up and there is uh, Axwell in robot mode and he's still got the nice haircut design from uh, Rock Swagger he's got a browner hair color uh, like I said he is looks like he's crying and got the sound wave and looking bit uh, on his chest. He's got a couple uh, little hands going on there, a little bit of gray paint uh, that matches the face colors on the ends there, and then just these weird uh, angled out legs. And that's pretty much it for Axwell. Next we have Batterhead, the orange drum kit, who is all about the heavy metal rock. He, he's here for the power! Yeah, that's basically his personality. He, he, he's the heavy metal drumist. So uh, this is a color lift redeco of the Dumb Beats mold from Series 2, who was in the Music Mob. So it's a drum kit. Uh, clearly, we've got the main drum in the middle. We got uh, normal drum kits do have like an asymmetry to them, but this one, these, this drum kit does have symmetry with these being the same types of drums and both cymbals right there. Uh, it's very nice, even though there's leg there, it, it does look like there's still an inkling of like foot pedals in the design uh, based on some of the molding in here, like there, 
and kind of a little bit there, but those are a bit more standing supports. But you know what? That's a really neat little touch, even if it's not exactly correct. Uh, Paint-wise, it's just the white for the drum face and then the silver up here for the drum faces and um, hats and for a little decoration around the rims of these drum, the smaller drums up here. And transformation, flip out the legs, flip out the hands, and flip down the, the chest panel, and there is Dumb Beats. And he is ready to, to I was going to say a rock, but ready to heavy metal, I guess would be the, the appropriate term. Uh, it's very circular and very, very, very round. Uh, <laughs> nice blue head comes out in this form. He's, like I said, a bit angry. A little bit of that orange is still on the forehead. Nice blue chest with some uh, techno detail. Little tiny arms, they are only on hinges, they do not rotate at all. Um, and I already pointed out the feet, which have no paint on them, uh, but have some nice molding. So there is um, Batterhead, not Dumb Beats, Batterhead in his robot mode. Next is Calamity Keys, a redeco of Series 2's um, Grand Piano. A uh, little it's the same type of piano, but painted brown, so it comes off as a more of a wooden piano as opposed to the black one, though I think the black one would still be wooden. But this is much older older wooden, as Calamity Keys is a uh, hoon toon wild west kind of folk who has a wild and crazy play and that fits into a, a saloon bar fight. Yeehaw! Pew pew, round mug, cowboy, whatever. <laughs> all that not all that jazz. Uh, like I said, predominantly brown. We got some nice molding on the back here for these older um, style of pianos have. Uh, we've got a little bit of a paint, gold painted pedal uh, right there. We got some nice white and black keys and we even have a little bit of music sheet on a grand piano with notes. And I can even tell like some of them are whole notes and the rest are quarter notes. And there's a couple of sharps in there as well. No flat, so it's at least it seems like it might be a consistent key. I'll have to figure out what that sounds like, actually. Maybe I'll do that at some point. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, Calamity Keys in piano mode. So to get to robot mode, we're going to flip these out. We're going to flip this down. We're going to fold the keys down, and then we're going to flip up the head like so. And there is Calamity Keys in robot mode. He's just having a jolly good time playing the wildest keys on the West with his claw stool hand. <laughs> just, I don't know. His, his claw hand support thingies. Yeah, whatever. He, he can do it. Um, nice smile on the face. Nice cheery blue eyes. Nice little bit of gold paint on the forehead. And everything else you've pretty much seen except there's just a little bit of gold added to the toes. And then articulation-wise, the arms go out like so, and the hands go up and down like that. So a bit of weird articulation on the hands, but hey, it, it makes for a very nice piano mode, I will say. Uh, so that is everything on Calamity Keys. And up next, we have Dingledy Doo, who was the uh, bot who is the bot bot I was referring to when when saying about uh, being a mold not from the music mob because this mold is not a music it was not even closely related to the music mob it is based on the clog stopper mold from the series one lost bots who was a plunger and is now a bell based on the dingle dee doo dingle dee doo dingle dee doo uh, <laughs> Uh, and Dingle Dee Doo is, uh, is a, is a goody two-shoes. She's a goody two-shoes character, uh, but has a, a habit of ringing her bell when she sees a bot bot breaking the rules or something. So you gotta watch out, better not cry, or else Dingle Dee Doo will ring, ring, ring. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, a uh, nice brown painted wooden handle for the end of the bell. Uh, the rest of the bell is pretty much yellow. You can see a little bit of the paint coming out for the robot mode bits, but we'll get that. We'll talk about that when we're in robot mode, which we are going to right now. So transformation, we are going to flip the both the front half and the back half of the legs down. Uh, pull the arms out, rotate them down, and pull up on the head. And there is 
dingledy doo in her robot mode. And she's a little cutie. She's got a lot of white paint going on on the hands, uh, most of the body and the face as well. She's got a nice smile, pink little cheeks, and very optimistic looking eyes, if you can see under through the shadow, <laughs> because that, that have, hat uh, makes it hard to see. Yeah, uh, a little bit of... Um, a dull goldish kind of color for this for the section that's the hinges um yeah and then articulation wise it's ball jointed uh arms so they can go up and down not can't really do a back and front just a little bit and the legs uh are, you, you really can't do unless you start breaking them apart but i appreciate how they make me feel uh, remind me of uh cybertron red alerts legs so there is dingle dee doo And last but not least is Loudsy, who is a speaker. Uh, he's a color left Ritico of the Technotic Sonic Mold, who was a techie team member uh, before becoming a music mob member. Uh, Technotic Sonic is uh, one of those people who knows everything about every single song. And if you ask him what the song's called, he's going to tell you everything about the song, even if you didn't ask. And it's the type that always says, oh, vinyl's so much better. Uh, but it's a very nice change of paint job going on. We got a very, very nice, like, wood pattern, uh, fresh wood pattern going on on the sides here and here. Uh, we got a nice bit of black going on, a little bit of white for the top speaker. Uh, and then the back, just solid brown, but a nice bit of molding in terms of the knobs and dials and plugins, which is very neat. And, uh, just the one giant hole. I wonder if that's... Hold on. Does it fit? No, nope, no, it doesn't. It's too small anyway. Uh, anywho, uh, yeah, and that's uh, Loudsy in alt mode. So let's transform him. Uh, we are going to split these panels like so. We're gonna fold the legs down like so. And then we're gonna Pull, I'm gonna pull, come on, pull the arms out like that, and do the same for the other side. Come on, do, 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 get, get. I know you're, you're a bit of a snob, but now's not the time. Jeez, there we go, okay. There we are. And there is Loudsy in his robot mode. Uh, just like with Technotic Sonic, his eye is the, the giant speaker, so I guess he sees through echolocation? I don't know. Um, his chest, uh, he's got a nice white face with a nice smirking grin. The chest is pretty bland compared to the rest, but I, I don't mind with the nice wood, pan wood detailing they've got there. And the rest of the limbs are also pretty plain, except for the parts that also make up the outside of the box and then he's just got these wings that you can do some positioning stuff with because they are on ball joints and do have a bit of range but i think it's just easiest for them to just be kind of hanging out on the sides and beyond that um the other articulation is 360 degree rotation of the arms they there is no ball joint there and then the legs i guess you can do a split so that's something a few bot bots can do there there's him doing the splits and uh that is all there is to say about low doubt scheme and that's all there is to say about the series three music mob so now into uh some size comparisons here they are with a couple of battle masters and micro masters a tiny turbo changer here they are with a current deluxe class and voyager class sized figures a not so current legend scale figure and of course, the channel's mascot, Sound Jack. So there's the Series 3 Music Mob. Um, most of them are predictable molds for this, uh, but I very much appreciate the most uh, Dingle Dee Doo being a red color lift of a plunger. Very interesting way <laughs> to get that mold reuse and into the Music Mob. But overall, this is a pretty solid team. We do have two brown, light blue, uh, yeah, orange and blue, and then a yellow, so there is some repeating colors, but you know, that's fine. And again, I still like all of these molds and they're still very good molds. 
So those are my thoughts on the music mob. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at soundjack426. Also, if you'd like to help support the channel, you can check out my coffee linked in the description down below. And you should also check out RDSJ Gaming where we where I do video games with Alyssa. And with all that being said, thanks for tuning in. This is Soundjack signing off.